Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing this beautiful highlighted bob from my first wig. I'm loving the hive lights and I want to show you guys how I was able to install this unit in three easy steps and get a perfect melt without using any glue. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this unit and seeing how I installed it, keep watching. Okay, y'all, let's get into this cap construction because this is almost just as important as the quality of this unit. As you guys can see, my first wig does have the clean knots, the small knots. It's not gonna have that lacy look going on. So you guys know I like to go over these edges using my hot comb. And as you guys can see, this hairline is plucked really well. So before I put this unit on, it's best for me to go ahead and just flat iron this unit. It's a lot easier to flat iron your unit while it's on a mannequin head as opposed to doing it after you've done the install. So do yourself a little favor, do this step beforehand. This way, once you put the wig on, you could just get up and go. Now, this wig did flat iron very easily. As you can see, all it takes is one pass through and it straightened very well. And then I'm going to go on top of that with my hot comb just to get any bumps that might be in the back to lay down. And this is what it looked like when I was done. Okay y'all, so now that I finished prepping the wig, it's time for the install. This is gonna be a really simple install. Y'all, I'm really loving this hairline. My first wig has really come a long way with plucking the units. That's one of the issues that I used to have with them. Not necessarily an issue, but one of the things that needed improvement for my personal preference is the plucking. I love the way this looks. And this hair feels super soft. I'm gonna give y'all a full review at the end. Let's get this unit installed. Okay, I promised you guys a three-step install, so here it is. Do yourself a favor and get these two products. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. I bought them from Amazon, and it is this Even New York Melting Spray. Now, they have different kinds of melting spray. I can only give you my opinion on the Keratin one. I love it. It's a clean spray, and it's easy for you to direct where that product goes. Now, this second one is their Active. I love to use this spray particular for my ends and I like to double it up with this keratin spray because it gets a really good hold y'all. This combination literally will get you a week's worth of hold and I have not been able to get a week's worth of hold using any sprays ever in life. I'm gonna use my elastic band to tie it down. By the way, this is one of my favorite elastic bands. If you guys are fam to the channel, y'all already know y'all see me use this elastic band a lot. And that's because I just like the way that it is. It, I don't know how to really explain it, but it melts the best. <laughs> this is my wig dealer elastic band, but I lost that. So this one's an old faithful. I'm always use this even when it's for another brand. Sorry, not sorry. Be right back. Okay guys, now it's time to cut the lace. Now I know they have these pre-cut lace units out and honestly, I really don't know what's the big deal that people find with cutting the lace. It's really not that complicated, guys. Get you a pair of scissors or get you a razor. The razor is gonna naturally give you a jagged cut. If you use the scissor, you just need to move your hand up and down just to create that jagged motion. Now I'm going to use some more of this melting spray active just along the perimeter of the hairline. So I told y'all I really like this active spray for the perimeter of the hairline. It does really good with melting and getting those little white pieces to lay down. And the next step of this install is using this glosser to straighten the roots of your units, particularly along the hairline and along the part in space. It gives a really nice glossy sheen look that gives you that fresh from the salon 
look without the heavy buildup that the wax stick may have over time. Now, I still do use the wax stick when needed when I have any little flyaways, but using this glosser along the hairline has really gave my installs more of a polished look. Now, one thing to be mindful of is that if you're doing a glueless install like I am in this video, you don't want to get that glosser to overlap on the edges where you sprayed the adhesive or of course you're going to loosen that adhesive. So just spray it right after where you have it melted on the lace and you'll be fine. So right here, you're gonna see me go over the roots using that Even New York spray. And that's only because I didn't want that hair to come back up. So if you permanently want it to be flattened, do this step. If not, skip this step. Okay, I've added the foundation back to my forehead. I'm gonna just take some of my concealer powder and kind of dust that along the lace to get rid of any cast that you might see. Now we're gonna add some concealer to the parting space. I mix mine. Now for me, concealer on the parting space is necessary because 90% of my installs, I do not use the ball cap. So that concealer is gonna help you to get that area looking like scalp and it's gonna blend that line of demarcation you're gonna see from that stocking cap underneath. So if you're not doing a ball cap, concealer on the parting space is a step that you can't skip doing. Plus, I've learned that adding the concealer to the part just makes for a cleaner look. So even if you are doing the ball cap, try not to skip this step. Okay, doll. So this is the final look. I wasn't really sure on how I wanted to style the front. I didn't know if I wanted to wear it straight or if I wore it in a swoop. I curled in a little swoop. You know, you can play around with it, make it your own. But I really do like this unit. Particularly, I'm loving the highlights on it. It's very subtle, but noticeable. Like, it's just a nice amount of highlights to give an extra, you know, je ne sais quoi to your bob. So it's not just the regular black straight bob. This is also my first wig, silky texture. I actually really like their silky texture, and I like their yakki as well. This is a bob, so you know it's going to be a very low maintenance unit. And you guys know, it's summer, it's springtime, it's bob season although in my opinion all year round is bob season this is a classic hairstyle you cannot go wrong with now i didn't get any shedding or tangling whatsoever with this unit not really sure what the density is but i'm gonna have everything linked in the description box down below along with the links to purchase this unit if there are any coupon codes i'll be sure and put that across the screen and before we get out of here guys i'm gonna need your help naming this beauty what do you think we should call her? Go ahead and leave your name suggestions in the comment section down below. And I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed in my last video. The new name as well as the person who submitted the name will be listed across the screen. So dolls, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. And if you're not already part of the Faithful Fam, hit that family button, aka the subscribe button and join the family. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and check out this video. You might like it as well. And it's always important. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.